Kumusta po mga kabarangay? Medyo matagal-tagal din po akong hindi nakapag-upload ng mga bagong videos dahil marami po akong pinagkaabalahan. Maliban sa aking placement, sa aking schooling, uh, meron ding mga events. At uh, recently lang po ay meron tayong sinalihang isang uh, tagisan o baga um, interstate quiz B. Yan po ay laban-laban ng mga Filipino community dito sa Australia, lahat po ng mga states ay meron po mga representative. Yan po ay dahil po ang Philippines and Australia Friendship Day ay uh, gugunitain sa May 22nd. Panoorin niyo po ang aming semifinals at pasensya na po sa mga mali. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the semi-final round of Is It Fact or Fib? A few moments ago, we had three teams from three different states. New South Wales, Western Australia, and South Australia. Now, it has dwindled to two. Before we go to the semi-final round, let me say hi to our Facebook viewers. Thank you for watching, Miss Elsa Ringer Colliado. Connie Del Coro Ramsey, Lita Smith, Wilma Donny, Apple Bautista, Cindy Bagaching Liberia, Mao Perez, Chi De Jesus, Tanya Alda, and Lim, Claren Marquez, Sarah Aguilar, Grace Songko, Chet Milano, Claire Margaret, Ida Florendo Garcia, Edel Ann, Tala Prado, Redemption Olarve Banyares, Castro Tess, Ross Cossid Howland, SP Dingal Pogson, Cecilia Flores, Lauren Bastan, Jeff Pogson, Ruben Coliado, Consul General of Canberra, Ian Keringal, and Consul Meldiano of New South Wales. Thank you for watching. All right. We are going to call on our semi-finalists. All right, for Team New South Wales. FAEA, Filipino Australian Engineers Association. Team Captain Jess Aranz, Mayumi Bartolome, and Perlita Aranz. Welcome back. And from... State South Australia, the Filipino Settlement Coordinating Council of South Australia and Ethnic Radio Filipino Incorporated, Celia Guillermo, Francis Olarve, and Lourdes Duenas Blinko. All right, for the semi final round, we have a set of 10 questions. The first five are multiple choice for 100 points and the following five questions the next five questions will be more challenging via identification and it will be 200 points each all right all right players everyone let's go to reset position set your virtual hands off and put your hands on your head I will repeat the question twice. I will say, ready, go. And that's when you press the button to raise your virtual hand. Okay? All right. Let's go to question number one. Name the captain of His or Her Majesty's Australian ship, Sydney, who was accorded the equivalent of a state funeral in Manila and is buried in Manila Memorial Park in Paranaque. A. 
Sir Donald McKinnon. B. Major General Sir Simon Cooper. C. Lieutenant General Sir Thomas Daly. D. Rear Admiral John Somares Dumares. I will repeat the question. Name the captain of his or her majesty's Australian ship, Sydney, who was accorded the equivalent of a state funeral in Manila and is buried in Manila Memorial Park in Paranaque. A. Sir Donald McKinnon. B. Major General Sir Simon Cooper. C. Lieutenant General Sir Thomas Daly. Or D. Rear Admiral John Somares Tumares. Ready? Go. South Australia. South Australia team captain, choose your player and answer. Go. Okay, I'm going to answer McKinnon, McKinnon, letter A. Yep. A, Sir Donald yeah, really? McKinnon. Uh, Francis, do you have any other answer? You're on mute. You're on mute. Yes, yes. You agree with A? Hello? No. Okay, what's your answer? Letter D. Okay, Sumaris. I'll go with your answer. Okay, I'll go with your answer. So D, Dumares, is a yeah, fact. Dumares, and it's a fact. They have locked in their answer with letter D, rear... Admiral John Somares Dumares. It's a fact. Congratulations, you get 100 points. Fun mm -hmm. fact. Historical military ties between Australia and the Philippines date back to 1922. And His Majesty um, Sydney served as part of the Grand Fleet in the North Sea during the last two years of World War I. Let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. Question number two. Which Australian Prime Minister co-founded the United Australia Party and was often portrayed in the press as a happy koala? A. Joseph Lyons. B. Gough Whitlam. C. Bob Menzies. D. Bob Hawk. I will repeat the question. Which Australian Prime Minister co-founded the United Australia Party and was often portrayed in the press as a happy koala? A. Joseph Lyons. B. Gough Whitlam. C. Bob Menzies. Or D. Bob Hawk. Ready, go. New South Wales. New South Wales team captain, choose your player and answer. Go. Uh, let us see, Bob Menzies. It's Please a lock in your answer. See, it's Bob Menzies, he has locked this hit. He has it's locked in his answer with C. Bob Menzies. It's a fib. Next team to steal is South Australia. South Australia. Choose your player and answer. Go. Francis. Letter A. Joseph Lyons. Leon. Please Leon. lock in your Leon. Okay. He has locked in his answer with A, Joseph Lyons. And it's a It's a fact. Congratulations. You get 100 points. Fun fact, it may be because Lyons was 
plump or, or of medium stature, upright in bearing with blue eyes and an unruly mop of blonde hair that he was often portrayed as a koala in political cartoons. The Mint even declined to issue a half-crown coin in this period owing to its design of a koala out of fear that the coin would become popularly designated as Alliance or Joe. All right. Let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. Let's go to question number three. Who is this unofficial president called Generalis Generalissimo who fought for Philippine independence until his capture in 1906? A. Macario Sakai. B. Francisco Carrion, C. Mariano Trias, D. Francisco Mabulos. Who is this unofficial president called Generalissimo who fought for Philippine independence until his capture in 1906? A. Macario Sakai, B. Francisco Carrion, C. Mariano Trias, D. Francisco Mabulos. Ready? Go. New South Wales. Team Captain New South Wales, choose your player and answer. Yes, sir. Go. Uh, letter A, Makari Sakai. Please lock in your answer. Yeah, Makario Sakai is a fact. A Makario Sakai is a fact. Come on. Com Congratulations, you get 100 points. Fun fact, there were unofficial presidents of the Philippines that scholars consider because they held the presidency of a revolutionary governments. They held the government that intended to represent the Philippines during their time. Some of the other notable unofficial presidents are Andres Bonifacio, Jose Abad Santos, and Arturo Tolentino. All right, let's go to reset position. Virtual hands off everyone and hands on your head, please. Let's move on to question number four. What do you call a group of kangaroos? A, a murder, B, a mob, C, a pack, D, a drove. What do you call a group of kangaroos? A, a murder, B, a mob, C, a pack, D, a drove. Ready, go. South Australia. Team Captain South Australia, choose your player and answer. Go. Okay, I'm going to answer B, mob. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, B, mob is a fact. B, mob. And they have locked in their answer. B, mob is a fact. Congratulations, you get 100 points. Kangaroo groups are called mobs because it <laughs> describes their behavior of scattering away when threatened and individual members of a group moving at liberty. All right, let's go to reset position. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. And may I remind you to please wait for my go signal before pressing your virtual hand. Thank you. And we will proceed, proceed to question number five. Sheldon Riley, the Filipino-Australian TV masked singer will represent Australia in which singing contest? A, America's Got Talent. B, The Voice Australia. C, Eurovision. D, American Idol. Sheldon Riley, the Filipino-Australian TV masked singer, will 
represent Australia in which singing contest? A. America's Got Talent. B. The Voice Australia. C. Eurovision. Or D. American Idol. Ready? Go. New South Wales. New South Wales team captain. Choose your player and answer. Go. Uh, uh, Carlita will, uh, Carlita will answer. The answer is C, Eurovision. It's a fact. C, Eurovision. She has locked in. Their answer is a fact. Congratulations, you get 100 points. Sheldon Riley's real name is Sheldon Hernandez, is set to represent Australia in Eurovision Song Contest with his song, Not the Same. The Eurovision Song Contest was based on Italy's Sanremo Music Festival with competing countries casting votes for the other country songs to determine a winner. The first contest was held on May 24, 1956. And in 2015, Australia was allowed to participate in this competition. Let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. Hands on your head, please, everyone. Okay, may I remind everyone for this set of questions, you will have to identify the answers without any choices provided and you are given 10 seconds to answer, okay? We proceed to question number six. What do you call the first squeeze of the coconut milk done from squeezing grated mature coconut meat or nyog in Tagalog. What do you call the first squeeze of the coconut milk done from squeezing grated mature coconut meat or nyog? Ready, go. New South Wales. Team captain, New South Wales. Choose your player and answer. Go. Is it called gata? Kakang gata. Carlita will answer gata. Gata. Can you hold on? I just need to confirm with um, the technical team if the answer um, was answered within 10 seconds. Nakamute. Nakamute si Jessica. Hindi. Hindi tinanggal sa mute eh. Hindi. Hindi na ako nakamute. Sinabi ko. Gata. Sabi niya. Okay. Can you give us a few seconds? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Wala 
Okay, so we checked with our technical team. Um, just to clarify, the first answer was um, the first answer that you gave was gata, and that and that was the answer that um, that you said within the first ten seconds. And then um, somebody mentioned um, kakangata, but it was all already beyond ten seconds. So we will not consider that, and um, we will move on to the next question. Okay. So kakangata. the answer is kakangata because kakangata is the first squeeze or the squeeze. creamiest one. Um, so kakangata has very little or no water with the purest coconut milk content. Water is added before the second and third squeeze called gata. So kakangata right. is sold as the coconut cream while gata is coconut milk. All right, everyone. Thank you for your patience. We just wanted to verify that we are um, just on the right track. Let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. So no points um, is given for that, um, for that um, question. So we proceed to question number seven. I, I made the correct Question number seven. Ginataang bilubilo is a popular Filipino afternoon snack or dessert made with glutinous rice balls, plantain bananas, sweet potatoes, and tapioca pearls that is cooked in sweet coconut milk. What is it called in Central Visayas? I will repeat the questions. The question, Ginataang Bilubilo is a popular Filipino afternoon snack or dessert made with glutinous rice balls, plantain bananas, sweet potatoes, and tapioca pearls that is cooked in sweet coconut milk. What is it called in Central Visayas? Or what is the version called in Central Visayas? Ready, go. Wales. Team captain, choose your player and answer. Go. Cesar, you know it? Ikaw ulit, alam mo? Six seconds. Oh, okay, ginataan. I will consider ginataan as your answer. And it's not correct. Team, other team, you have a chance to steal. What is the Visayan version of Ginataang Bilubilo? Go. Uh, Southern Bilo Bilo or? Please lock in your answer. Binignit. Binignit. Lock in. Lock in. Binignit is a fact. Congratulations, you get 200 points. Ginataang bilo, bilo or binignit is called is also called tabirak in Mindanao and is typically served during the Lenten season. <laughs> All right. Let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. Question number eight. What is the name of this beach located on the northwestern side of Hayman Island in the Whitsundays group that is famous for snorkeling, diving, and sightseeing? What is the name of this beach located on the northwestern side of Hayman Island in the Whitsundays group that is famous for snorkeling, diving, and sightseeing? Ready? Go! New South Wales. New South Wales team captain, choose your player and answer. Go. White Haven Beach. It's Please lock in your answer. White Haven Beach is a, a fib. Fact. 
You have a chance to steal. Team captain, please choose your player and answer. Go. Blue Pearly Bay. Please lock in your answer. Blue Pearl Bay. Blue Pearl Bay is a fact. Congratulations. You get 200 points. It is described as bland Caribbean and Mediterranean vibes and you'll get a sense of the of this perler tucked away in the wet Sundays. It is also known for its coral and fish life, including a resident Maori ras, a type of humphead fish. All right, everyone. Let's go to reset position. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. Question number nine. Everybody, please, hands on your head, please. Name this president who is the first Filipino to appear on TV in 1953. Name this president who is the first Filipino to appear on TV in 1953. Ready? Go. New South Wales. Everybody, hands on your head, please. New South Wales, please answer. Oh, Cesar, please answer. Uh, El Pidio Quirino. No. Quirino. Please lock in your answer. Lock in. El, El Pidio, Pidio Quirino is locked in and it's a fact. Congratulations, you get 200 points. According to NCCA website, television was introduced in the Philippines in 19, 1953 with the opening of the DZAQ TV Channel 3 of Alto Broadcasting System in Manila. The station was owned by Antonio Quirino, the brother of then incumbent Philippine president Elpidio Quirino. All right, let's go to reset position, everyone. Virtual hands off and hands on your head, please. And this is the last question for 200 points. What is the name of this bay in Olongapo where you can find the plaque commemorating those laws on the Montevideo Maru? What is the name of this bay in Olongapo where you can find the plaque commemorating those laws on the Montevideo Maru? Ready? Go. New South Wales. New South Wales team captain, choose your player and answer. Go. Hello, Cesar. Olongapo Bay. <laughs> Please lock in your answer. Okay, it's already locked in because your 10 seconds has expired. So, Olongapo Bay is a fib. You have a chance to steal. Ready? Go. Hellship uh, Memorial. Please lock in your answer. Lock in. Hellship Memorial is a fib. The correct the answer day. is Subic. <laughs> During the Second World War, the single deadliest day for the Australian forces occurred, occurred on July 1, 1942, more, when more than one 50th of all Australian service personnel killed during 2173 days that Australia was at war, lost their lives off the northwestern coast of the Philippines. They were prisoners of war captured at Rabaul in New Guinea and were being transported aboard the Japanese hell ship Montevideo Maru when it was sunk off Cape Bojador in Ilocos Norte. All right, that marks the end of our semifinal round for this set. Who will it be? Is it New South Wales, Filipino Australian Engineers Association, or South Australia, Filipino Settlement Coordinating Council, and Ethnic Radio Filipino Incorporated? All right.
May we call on Miss Elsa? And that is the end of our semifinal round. I know you're all eager to know who our first final, our second finalist is. And I will not make you wait. May we call on Miss Dr. Elsa Collado to announce the scores and the winning team today. And the winner is. South Australia wow. with who garnered the points of 700. New South Wales, thank you very much. You had 400 points for the semifinals today. Thank you very much for the support. Again, congratulations to both of you, South Australia team and New South Wales team. And we will see you on the 15th of May, South Australia team. Woohoo! Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. And thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Elsa. Congrats. Celia and Ludes of South Australia. Thank you, Jess, Perlita, and Cesar for the New South Wales team. And thank you, our host for today, Mia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Elsa. And uh, congratulations, um, New South Wales team. We will see you on May 15. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Don't forget to follow oh, La Casa Filipina for wow. updates and announcements. Thank you for watching again. I am thank your you. host, Nia Estolana Liver from the USA. I had a great time today. See you on May 15. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. South Congratulations, Australia. South Australia. Hey. Congratulations, South Australia. Salamat. Thank you.